You know what's fascinating about the human race? We tend to have big dreams and visions for ourselves. We tend to visualize this amazing future, that all the good things that could happen for us. Then we find ourselves in a position where we just can't seem to move forward, where we just feel stuck, like we're repeating the same thing over and over again, and we can't get out. Maybe we made a decision or a commitment to change, but for some reason, we just can't break through. Now, I need you to know right now that there's only one way that you're gonna get your breakthrough. There's only one way that you can take it to the next level. And it's not by sleeping a few extra hours, or by watching TV, or by messaging with your friends. It's about taking one big step up to life. You have got to make a decision to yourself to say that you really are ready to go for it. Only you can decide when your life goes to the next level. Only you can decide when you start actually living your dream and doing what you want to do. That's up to you. There is nobody else in the world that can do that for you. There is nobody that can take that decision from you. You have the power to change whatever it is that you want. But look at the amount of time that you wasted. The amount of time that has just gone by. The amount of time where you didn't go all in. It's time to go all in in your life right now, today. Wake up. Most of us are not really living. Ask yourself the question, can you thoroughly recall and remember the last seven days of your life? Did you do anything worthwhile? Did you make anything significant happen? Did you stretch, grow? Were you uncomfortable in new situations? Did you gain something? Were you expanding yourself, your life and your beingness? Or were you holding yourself back? Because you're the only one who can tap your ultimate potential. You're the only person that can make your exact visions come to life. Your life is yours, no matter how much you've been conditioned to think or believe that you need to do this, that and the other, that this is the right path, that this is what people are supposed to do. You're supposed to walk your path. The only thing that you're supposed to do is walk your own path. Your road to success, what your gut, what your heart is telling you, because it was given to you and nobody else. But if you did nothing towards that in the last seven days, what's to say that you will in the next? And if you didn't change anything the past year, what's it gonna take for you to wake up and do it this way? You'll stop holding yourself back and always limiting your opportunities. I heard some people saying, isn't that extreme? Isn't it extreme to be obsessed, to go all in, to do everything you're supposed to do? You should have a plan B. Life is extreme. Sometimes you lose, sometimes tragedy hits you. Life is going to continue to be extreme, so get extreme with it. Don't wait for an extreme moment to wake you up. Because that's what happens if you don't wake up, if you don't start doing what you're supposed to do. Eventually, life will hit you with something extreme just so that you'll wake up. Listen, you're not going to get out of your life alive, so play all in. Stop saving yourself for round two. There is no round two. This is the round. This is the time. This is your opportunity to show what you're made of. Today is your day. And now is the moment. Whatever you need to do, do it with your whole heart. Do it with everything. Every little piece of you invested. All of your energy. No holding back. What would your life look like if you went all in and everything that you did? From the moment you woke up until you passed out on the bed at night. If you were so intense that nobody could keep up, you have that in you. You have that power within you. You just have to let it out. Yes, some people will call you extreme. When you bring out the best in you, when you give everything that you have in every situation, when you stop doping and walking around like a brain dead zombie, of course you're gonna turn some heads. 
If you're not drawing attention to you, that is the problem. You need attention. You need people to notice you. You want the world to know that you were here. Don't live in the shadows, not even leaving a fingerprint, not even leaving a mark. The only way to actually make a dent, the only way to actually impact people is to be extreme, is to go all in, is to do everything that you can possibly do. Only then can you realize your potential. Only then can you live the life that you truly know you're capable of, that you truly want to live. And nothing less than being extreme will be enough if you want to stop coping through life and begin to thrive. Average people, they just cope through life as if it's something to get through. This is depressing. As if death is a goal. Your clock is ticking. You don't have time to get through it. My depression propelled me to greatness. Listen to this passion. This doesn't come through sitting there and being happy and okay with everything. Yes, you have to accept that things are the way that they are. But I need you to use your pain, not be used by it. How do you not understand? This was given to you, given to you for a reason, so you can grow, so you can expand. How does a muscle get built in the gym? With resistance. You need some resistance to bring out the best in you. You need some pain, some struggle, some hardship. Life was not given to you so that you could cope through it. It was given to you to thrive. We need your obsession, your all in. Not this I'll try my best bullshit. As if it's out of your hands, it is not out of your hands. Stop lying to yourself and justifying why you can stay where you are, why it's okay for you to be where you don't want to be. Stop telling yourself that you're doing the best that you can when you know that you haven't even begun to tap half of your potential. Before you've even seen what you're capable of, you're already starting to think about quitting and giving up on yourself. What is this to you? You're going to die. How can you not understand this? It doesn't last forever. For all we know, it can happen tomorrow. I challenge you to live with this in mind and see how you will do things differently. You won't cope 